Okay, I'll have that air conditioner up by Monday. That ain't too bad. That painting takes a lot of... You, sometimes I think you need to maybe take a day off of the painting, especially if you... Even with the doors open, when you're painting and stuff, that stuff is... Uh, stuff's nasty. Just wear a mask. Breathing, yeah. Breathing's fundamental, you know. <laughs> I was sitting there, woke up this morning, you know, because you get a lot of these people thinking about, you know, Basilica City, Vatican City and stuff. Um... When you're looking at restoration of buildings and what buildings to keep and what buildings not to worry about restoring and maintaining, uh, I would look at it, Proverbs, share and care, given accordance need, build the last, you know. Great Wall of China. Uh, uh, is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? These three things go through my head before I speak my mind. May the act, may the act through for those words of mine. Making them true, making them necessary, making them kind, making them true, necessary, kind. I liked Rich Miller and the Soul Tones. <laughs> I, yeah. What was it, I guess? One day I was feeling low, down mad at some old coot. I wanted to give him what for with, corner of my boot. I needed to defend my words in pride and vanity. But these three words came through my head and changed my mind for me. Yeah, I liked uh, Rich Miller and the and the Sultans. Anybody else? I liked the uh, one, the the girl, she was casual. I know what Sean say, hey, tug em all, tug em all, Sean say. Yeah, I liked that song and I liked, um, uh... oh no, that was the Hindu Kush Mountain Boys. I'm sorry, sorry. Rich was in the Hindu Kush Mountain Boys. Rich Miller and the Soul Tunes was there's a way to give away everything that you have without asking return. This is yeah, that was let the Mahanta be your bright blue star and follow the act. Okay. Yeah, that that, that was Rich Miller and Soul Tunes. Okay. And then there was the Hindu Kush Mountain Boys plus one with the Ronda Gale. Okay, yeah, I like those guys too. Sorry, screwed up. It's been a long time, been a long time, been a long, long. But like Rich Miller, yeah. He, had the, he was the one with the deep voice, you know. Yeah. Mark, Brenda married me, and the class of 57 is now part of history. Yeah, and the class of 57 had its dreams. We all thought we'd change the world for our great works and deeds. Or maybe we thought the world would come if it, if it you know, to accommodate our needs. But the, yeah, um, uh, we are what we do. You know, you're judged by your deed and we are what we do in life's eternal and grace is infinite. Care and share are given accordance to need, built to last. Forgive that trespass, love one another, eternal faithful peace. Eternal faithful peace. I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> You funny. I'm tired. These people suck. That's their big thing is, you know, we'll just kill you in your life. You'll have a miserable ending and no one will recognize you. It's That's worst case scenario. Best case scenario is that they'll, you know, find a way for the military to take care of me and then, you know, comfortably kill me with the medical industry and have me go, thank you. I was like, are you living the Lord's Prayer? Are any of you standing up for the Lord's Prayer? What are you doing right? Want to build a Great Wall of China? How about a pyramid? $1,000 pyramid? $100,000 pyramid. I'm sorry. Uh, my numbers got fucked up. I, I apologize. Damn, not a Jeopardy master. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I will not come up with I'm not crazy fucking Eddie. Damn it. Oh, you're funny. I know, man. The other day I wasn't crying. I just had crap from the allergens and the stuff that causes all these respiratory things. Um, in my eyes, and so it wasn't tears right here. It was just water in the eyes because it's just I'm just fucking tired. You guys are just fucking mean, or if it's insidious, depending on how much money you have and how much you're willing to kill other people to keep it. <laughs> Suzuki's right on that one. I'm gonna give him that one. You know they're not mean. They're vicious and insidious. Yeah, he's right. Mean is people trying to survive vicious and insidious. Vicious and insidious is, is I worked hard for this money and I'm willing to kill lots of people to keep it <laughs> and my position of influence on money. <laughs> That's vicious and insidious. That's not mean, guys. Mean is my grandma, Peggy Pettis, uh, Steffi. You know, that's mean. Okay. They're mean. You know, 
people are, this town's a bunch of charlatans. I'm going through PTSD. I'm going to try to rip your balls off. I'm going to screw around on you because you won't be vicious and insidious to keep me comfortable. I mean, that's mean. Steffi was mean. Amy was mean. Grandma Mary could be mean. And Peggy was mean. They were mean. But Vicious and Insidious, I worked hard for this money, and I, I will kill as many people as I have to to keep my social position. The class of 57 had its dreams. We all thought we'd change the world of our great works and deeds. Or maybe we thought the world would change to fit our needs. But the class of 57 had its dreams. Don't you like that song? Jan sells Tupperware. Margaret's on it. It's a very pragmatic song, especially for the 1970s. Now, that was a very cool tune. I really like the Statlers. I like Better Roses. I like um, uh, Flowers on the Wall, you know. They they were good. Anybody else like this? Uh, oh, Elizabeth. That's a good song, too. It's, I like their Elizabeth as much as I like Sweet Elizabeth by the, the Almonds, man. No, I love the Stat Statlers. are cool. They're one of my favorites. Yeah. And, and aren't they the ones that also sang Daddy Sang Bass? Mama sang tenor. Me and my younger brother would join right in there. It was the Statlers, right? It wasn't the Oakers. It was Statlers, right? Uh, uh, Oakridge boys were Elvira, mm -bapa, mm -bapa, mm -bapa, mau, mau. That was the that was the Oakridge boys. They sang Elvira, right? All right. Uh, I, 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 it's, it's about, you know, you're funny. I'm tired. These fuckers suck. This is the most evil concentration of people in the history of the world. Okay, it's the Book of Revelation. The Messiah was born here. He got up and did everything. It was under horrible circumstances. The most horrible circumstances ever. I, I don't know, okay, of any time in the Gospels where they have people sitting there sexually grooming and manipulating children to try to test the Messiah to see if he won't be a pervert like the president and, and the military uh, admirals, generals, and whatever as you call them in this area. I, I, don't, I don't think there's ever been, if we read the Bible, there's never been that concentration of perverse evil to maintain mass murder, to build weapons of mass destruction, and big buildings for commerce, for genocidal operations. I, I, I'm, this is, it might just be the, the ego talking here. Okay, the ego talking here. But I would be saying from me, I maybe I'm making up, but maybe it's my alter ego. Maybe Sonia said, hey, Jesus, okay, Jesus, hey, like lost emotes. Everybody in my head is just my alter ego trying to make myself into a superhero so I can finally come to grips and vote for Donald Trump or Joe Biden for president, right? Just, I need more dead presidents. I need more money. It's not dead presidents. It's a plastic card with numbers on it that are more valuable than migrating children's lives. Oh, do you know Mexico's going to get their first female president who does deals with the people that give us a card that has numbers on it that are more valuable than migrating children's lives? Um, but they're going to have a woman that does it now. Like we had a brown man back in the early 2000s in the United States that does the same thing. Yeah. Barack uh, Hussein, Obama, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Right. <laughs> But the class of 57 had its dreams. <laughs> Counting flowers on the wall, that don't bother me at all. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51. Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Remember when they used to drop the ping pong balls on his head? Mr. Moose and Rabbit. I liked Mr. Green Jeans, too. He was pretty, seemed like a nice guy, you know, because we were farmer-type people. I had a Green Jeans-type outfit like that. I had green, which is a very cute picture. I think my sister Poncha has it. <laughs> I'm wearing a cowboy hat and green jeans and a green hat and little cowboy boots. Yeah, I was very cute. I was cute. That picture was cute. I was reputed to be an ugly baby. I was joke. The cat's not sitting on my face. I just say that to exaggerate it, to make it funnier. Okay, the story of when I'm a baby. We were poor when I was a baby. That's why there's not a lot of baby pictures of me. We were very, very poor when I was a baby. Okay, guys, I love you. Peace.